Hey, so today is, I believe, like November 16th, Friday, November 16th. I've uh, been planning on getting this video out to you guys since last Saturday. Had it planned for today. Um, this was our hunt from last week, opening day of Kentucky rifle season. So there were, of course, me, Derek, and Lewis. Uh, we all three went, and you know, most years opening day we do get a deer on the ground, or maybe two deers on the ground, but nothing like what we experienced um, last Saturday. So probably one of the best opening days of any season, whether it be archery season, rifle season, just a great day um, all around. I guess I won't keep you guys any longer. I will let you know. Derek did not have a camera at all. So he didn't get his on camera. But we got everything else, which is great. Lewis had his GoPro. He got all the footage on his, which is fantastic. It's actually uh, <laughs> it's pretty fun, pretty little fun event to watch. So hope you guys enjoy that. And as for my deer, well, you'll see what happens. Hey, don't forget, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button down there. Help me grow the channel. I got stuff coming out every Monday and Friday now uh, for you guys to watch. So I really appreciate it. But like I said, here you go. Well, today is a day that will live in infamy. Today is the day Daniel Howard picks up a rifle again to deer hunt. And uh, everybody's getting ready. We were late. It's fine. It's we fine. work for we work for a living. Yeah. Well, I do. Yeah. Some some people work for a living. <laughs> Some, uh, some those alarms on weekdays, you know. Yeah, some people are white collar. Yeah, work. Gotta pay taxes. Yeah, you know, working on getting ready. All that jazz. I think Lou's out here doing whatever it is he does. Yeah, there's Lou. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> And just so everybody knows, there will be a new series coming up called Smoking with Lou. Or it could be called Smoking and Joking with Lou. It should be called Cleaning Out Daniel's Truck because he has too much junk. I guess Lou's talking about this mess that is the back of my truck. That's completely full. That's accurate. That's accurate. It's too much junk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Joe's not up. Joe's not up. Joe's not up. If anything, Joe's laid up. Yeah. Laid up hard. Man, get pneumonia on a day like today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me use you as a lean post. Go put my shoe on. Good, good Lord above. Opened up the pneumonia hole this morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lou loves the YouTube. Yes, he does. We need to start that smoking with Lou up. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Just so everybody knows. It's just, yeah, this is mine, just so everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's been in my house longer than 60 days. I believe that, uh, <laughs> that applies. That applies. Thought your truck was a crew cab. It's not. It's not a crew cab. It's a double cab. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Something my wife would drive. Yeah. Go. You're gonna have to scoot that up just a little, cause I, I, I can't even get in. <laughs> Sorry, you can't fit in my crew cab. Yeah, you got a uh, rifle poking That's inside right. there. Man, upgrade, get him a. Another brand. Like, ah, safety's on. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. safety's on. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Our so lights I'm, on. I'm assuming Joe's still in the shower. Yes, so. I yeah, I believe Joe's going to be in the shower the rest of the morning. Yep. 
don't believe he'll be in attendance. Joe, you're tardy, buddy. It's not, but it's all right. It's not good, Joe. Probably another 13 days. Joe only gets out this early to go to Harlan and eat Hardy's biscuits. Yep. Yeah. Well, just got the text. A couple texts. Lou just put a buck on the ground. I mean, Derek just gives us real funky looking long brow tines. But uh, I'm going to say here for a few more minutes. And then I'm going to head that way and help these guys drag those deer out. for three so far this morning. It's been pretty good. Been a good morning. Been an excellent morning. Beautiful morning. Spitting snow. Cold. So, uh, I'll show you guys when we get over there. We'll check those deer out. You killed, you killed the one I was hunting for, guy. It's fine. <laughs> it is. Because, uh, right there on the other side of those rocks right there, that's where I was. Yeah. Seen where he uh, made a scrape out there this morning. God, it's nice. Little cinnamon. That's nice. Big old body, look at that neck. Oh, yeah. No does with him. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Well, let's get him out of here. I appreciate that. Yeah. This is uh, quite the hill. Cart would be nice when it's in the truck. Cart's in the truck. We're not new at this. Nope. We are not new. We know what to do. Yeah, we're not new. All right. We'll go young and we'll stud, sir. Three, two, one. <sighs> Got, got that old stud loaded up. Boy, it weighs about 1,800 pounds. Ah, no. Now I'm gonna go down here and get, get lose that we haven't seen yet. But uh, we're about to learn today. Yeah, he may have just photoshopped yeah, it. Yeah, photoshopped it. Yeah. Regardless, I'm gonna have some coffee. Yep, man, have these deer loaded up. Be back off the hill, back to the house in time for biscuits. Oh, time out. I told you that uh, Lewis got his deer on GoPro footage. Well, here it is. Check it out.
What you got there, Lou? Really heavy. <laughs> How'd 308 do for you? It, uh, the, it about got away on me. Yeah, it looks like it. Probably operator error. It looks like it about got away. All right. No, I did. I pulled the trigger one time. I knew I had the safety off. I had to rack it back. Didn't have shell in the chamber? No, I didn't. I just a why. dud? It was... A dud shell? No, I used the same shell. I just ratcheted, ratcheted it back, put it back in. Interesting. I don't know if it was just stuck or what. The thing is, I was... You had just shot yours. And Leah texted me. He's like, have you seen anything? I was like, nope. Put my phone back in my pocket. Here it comes. Come around this side, I guess? No, it came like towards uh, from from up the hill that I walked up. It's all right. It must have been over there where you were. Something. That's what it was. Smelled him, yeah. ran over here. Yeah. He heard that and he's like, nope, I don't want none of that. Yep. Yeah. All right. My window was about this big, but it was so thick. He rolled about halfway down this hill. Well, that's excellent. Oh, yeah. So I was like, uh, he's going down. Then he's going back up. Well, got the Derek and Lewis's deer loaded up. I was looking for my camera tripod. And but you know, I left it uh, back on the hill this morning where I was at. Uh, so, I'm in the process of going back to get that tripod. And I'm going to meet them down off the hill. So, I'm always forgetting stuff. Of course. But, hopefully I'll get out here and maybe see a deer that didn't come through this morning. That'd be kind of nice. So here's what just went down. Uh, Derek and Lou took my truck off the hill <coughs> and told them I'd meet them down there because you know I had to go get my tripod since I left it back on the hill. Wouldn't you know it, when I got up there and picked my tripod up, started back off the hill, a white tail took off running around the hill. And threw the scope up seen antlers and it was pretty much all over from that point so uh just put a nice nice little late point probably two and a half three and a half year old deer on the ground now we'll get it loaded up we'll show you guys what they're looking like sorry i didn't get it on video it just kind of happened real fast when a deer takes off like that i'm reaching for the gun not the gopro so Sorry I didn't catch it on video for you. I do believe Lou got his on video this morning on GoPro. So we'll throw that in here too, but we got three bucks in the back of the truck. Open day of rifle season. It usually don't happen that good. That's real nice. Wouldn't you say that's real nice? It's real nice. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, Lou just says he, he thinks modest. it's okay. He's just being modest. <laughs> yeah, being modest. Killed, kills the biggest buck he's ever killed, and he's modest about it. You know, you know how it is. Milestone here. All right, guys, hang loose for a minute, and uh, we'll throw some throw his deer together and show you what's going on. Yeah, so here we are. Got him loaded up. Got him back. Nice young eight point. I'm super happy. Super happy with it. Uh, you know, you don't get too many opportunities at, at decent deer, so when you do. Even a young deer like that, man, I'm stoked. They're, I just get super excited. Love it. But right now we are doing cleanup for some photos. Doing photo cleanup. Get the blood off. Get them brushed down. For some good pictures. But yeah. That presents your harvest. Oh, yeah. I'm just all about like as much respect as we can give to the animal um, when we present those animals out there for people to see then that's what we're going to do so right now we're just uh, playing cleanup and we'll get some some pictures taken and once we get them all set up here we'll give you guys a little bit closer look at them it's been a good morning it's 
been an excellent morning. Well, as you can see, school pickup, success today. But, hey, uh, hope you guys really enjoyed that video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. I mean, you know, we've got uh, a little bit of some Kentucky deer season left. I've got a couple doe tags. Um, so does a few other people. I've got a West Virginia tag, gonna try to get that field as well, but um, gonna jump on some coyote hunting. It's gonna be a full season of duck hunting coming up, but let me know what you guys wanna see more of, or let me know uh, maybe something that I haven't shown that you guys wanna see. Um, and I will definitely do my best to kind of get that in the videos in the future. So, um, appreciate you guys watching. Turtle. Thanks a lot. Turtle? Yeah. Where? Yeah. There's a turtle. There's a turtle.